and what's up YouTube how's it going for you today my name is Darth Tom and welcome back to some more good old-fashioned uh, Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords and the last time we left off we pretty much had to get myself out of pretty much a Koto's ship and then we eventually met with the Jedi on Dantooine and pretty much Things kind of met to a pretty terrible end pretty much after that so um, so pretty much now what I will be doing for this recording session is try to get relatively close to the finish of it I don't think I'll get that very far uh, in this recording session but pretty much by the time I do another recording session of this that should be pretty much close to being done. And I can move on with my life. But, uh, for those who, including myself, who haven't actually ever played uh, the Restore Content mod, pretty much this part of it is somewhat new, somewhat new to me. As it has been kind of a while since I've actually been been in this area. Not since the last time we met with good old Atris. Seems that nothing has really changed all that much. Except still the cold and dank place that it is. Just right over there. Of course, this whole thing could possibly just mean that pretty much I'm just playing as female in the whole handmaiden not coming with me thing. Pretty much that storyline pretty much is uh, pretty much null and void. But we're gonna go go say hi to you the bitch. You come to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force. They're mine to command, and if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris, you must be stopped. Atris? That is not who I am. Not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. What happened to you? The old woman you traveled with finally made me... Listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here, and that you would face me in battle. There is, there is no reason for us to fight. She said you were the last obstacle to my enlightenment. If I wished to truly face the Sith, to see their heart, then that meant facing you this last time. Where did she go? I do not know, yet. I suspect she went in search of you. But just as when she first came here, her path is difficult to see. She has set many things in motion. It is she that ordered the extermination of all Jedi so long ago. She will answer for her crimes. In time. She is Sith, just as you are, just as all who followed Revan were. Did she say where the Sith are striking from? I do not know, yet. But it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle, and they will be destroyed. You have placed everyone on Citadel Station in jeopardy, Atris. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. What plans are you talking about? These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. What is this place? All the knowledge of the Sith, gathered from across the galaxy, 
brought here by my servants so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the outer rim, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. And when the Sith are defeated, what then? When the Sith are destroyed, then I shall rebuild the Jedi Order again. They shall have none of the weaknesses of before. They shall be strong, willing to take battle to any who oppose them and weaken the Republic. They shall not train those who are easily corrupted. No more students that will bring war and hate to the galaxy. Atrus, you will make the Jedi into the Sith. The Sith are the Jedi. The Jedi are the Sith. What matters is that they be preserved. All the law, all the teachings brought to a new generation. I am the last of the Jedi, and I will show them this truth. Bring it to the galaxy. Weakness, like you fled to Qatar and Dantooine. I did not flee. I did what was necessary to fight the Sith and preserve the last of the Jedi. And you left the Jedi to die in Qatar. Yes, I sensed what would happen on Qatar. It was I who leaked knowledge of its presence in the hopes of drawing the Sith out. I will not deceive you. I knew what could happen there, but it had to be done to make the Sith reveal themselves. But I did not know the extent of their power, and what that meant for the Jedi. I will not underestimate them again. You are responsible for the murder of an entire planet. As are we both. You, who brought the screams of Malachor to the galaxy, do not preach to me. You lead by example, you always have. You knew what was necessary at Malachor V, and the stakes in this war are higher than you know. It is a war of extermination, of total annihilation. What were the Jedi doing in Qatar? They hoped to gather, to use their combined knowledge of the Force to see, to listen to the currents of the galaxy. They hoped to find out what was happening to the Jedi, why they were dying, and they discovered it. It revolved around you, as it always has. It is you who have tried to end us. Me? Yes. From the destruction of Qatar, a vision emerged. It is the last act the Jedi were able to perform before the planet was destroyed. So that is why I arranged for you to return to the Republic, so that I might draw the Sith out and end them. But that makes no sense. Why me? Is it not obvious? You are one of the Sith, fallen at Revan's side. The path to them lies through you. That makes no sense. I am not allied with these Sith. The pronouncement on Qatar was clear, and you are the key. And look, you have come to battle me, Sith versus Jedi, as was intended. What was this pronouncement on Qatar? It was a vision. It showed you, standing upon the many battlegrounds of the Mandalorian Wars, the ducks and jungles, the destroyed cities of Onderon. Whatever this threat we faced, it was from something you had done, and like all things would return to you. All echoes do. If it showed the future, then that is the only one such possibility. Yes, it was one such possibility. The others were only darkness, a galaxy devoid of the Force. But always there was an echo. The Jedi on Qatar did not realize the significance of this. They had not stood in judgment of you so long ago. They had not heard the same echo I did when you stood before us, and when we cast you into exile. What is the echo? Of course, you still do not know. The Jedi Council was not sure you would believe them if they told you, and I'm not sure they fully believed it themselves. It is why they wanted to exile you. So there, beyond the Outer Rim, you would come at last to hear that echo, and understand what happened. It was why you deserved death, and why I wished you executed. It is the sound of life in agony. It is a wound in the Force that has yet to close. War, destruction, these events leave wounds in the galaxy, in all life. The death of one can send echoes through hundreds, even thousands, across many planets. If not checked, then it spreads until nothing is left. Something that you had done in the past has caused this new threat, this death of all Jedi, and you were responsible for it. It was only proper that you be brought back to face your crime. You had killed countless Jedi once. The deaths of more Jedi were not beyond you. 
I had nothing to do with the deaths of the Jedi following the Mandalorian Wars. If you were responsible for the threat, then you would answer for it. If not, then you would draw the Sith from hiding so that they might be defeated. Either way, you deserved your fate. Atris, we have no time for this. We need to unite and stop the Sith. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. I will not fight you. Surrender, and I will spare you. Surrender. To you, never. Let us end this. Alright. So pretty much now she's gonna go aggro. And then I can have to have Then pretty much pretty much I will somewhat play this by ear. Okay, and then she goes back. That way, and then I run away. And she's still a little bit too far away. Is she still close? Dang it, she still is. Uh, let's try that. There we go. And run away. Pause. And then only shall get out. <laughs> kill me. End this. I will not kill a helpless opponent, Atris. I did not expect mercy from you. Here at the end, after all that has happened between us. Hmm. Oh, I thought she would have been a little bit more of a. Uh... Tougher woman. We have greater problems, Atris, and there has been enough killing. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? What happened to you? This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. I think perhaps we have been both guilty of such things. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. It never does until you realize what you have lost. Until you realize you have lost your connection with everything else. You're right. The Jedi were all that seemed left to me. And yet I had become so far removed from them that I betrayed them. Can you tell me where the Sith are striking from? <laughs> You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian Wars. All those deaths. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life. Until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy. Echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Is that where Kreia has gone? Yes. I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malachor 5 to finish what you started. 